Ever feel like you're trapped in a never-ending cycle of procrastination, constantly putting off important tasks and feeling overwhelmed? Join me as I challenge myself to overcome procrastination using self-improvement techniques inspired by Eckhart Tolle. We've all been there, that looming deadline, that task we're avoiding. It sits in the back of our minds, gnawing at us, creating a sense of unease. We know we should be working on it, but somehow we just can't bring ourselves to start. The pressure builds, and yet we find ourselves doing anything but the task at hand. Procrastination, the master of disguise, can feel like a comforting friend. It lures us in with the promise of temporary relief. We tell ourselves, just a few more minutes of relaxation, or I'll start after this episode. But those minutes turn into hours, and before we know it, the day has slipped away. It whispers promises of ease and relaxation. But don't be fooled. This deceptive companion leads us down a treacherous path. The more we give in, the harder it becomes to break free. We become trapped in a cycle of avoidance, each delay adding to our stress and anxiety. This deceptive companion leads us down a treacherous path. Procrastination is a cycle. It starts with a small delay, a harmless distraction, but soon it snowballs into a mountain of unfinished tasks and missed opportunities. We find ourselves overwhelmed, paralyzed by the sheer volume of what needs to be done. We delay, we worry, we delay some more. The cycle continues, feeding on our fears and insecurities. We become our own worst enemy, sabotaging our progress and potential. The weight of procrastination becomes a heavy burden, dragging us down and sapping our motivation. It's a trap that keeps us stuck. We long to break free, to reclaim our time and our lives. But how? The good news is that there is a way out. It starts with understanding the root causes of our procrastination. Why do we avoid certain tasks? What fears or beliefs are holding us back? We long to break free, to reclaim our time and our lives. The first step is to acknowledge the problem. Recognize that procrastination is not just a bad habit, but a complex issue that requires a thoughtful approach. It's about more than just time management. It's about addressing the underlying emotions and thought patterns that drive our behavior. The good news, we can. By taking small, manageable steps, we can begin to break the cycle. Start with setting clear, achievable goals. Break tasks into smaller, more manageable pieces. Celebrate small victories along the way. Each step forward builds momentum, making it easier to tackle the next challenge. Self-improvement offers a way out. It empowers us to understand ourselves better. By exploring the roots of procrastination, we can begin to uproot this insidious habit. Reflect on your triggers and patterns. What situations or thoughts lead you to procrastinate? How can you create an environment that supports productivity and focus? It empowers us to understand ourselves better. Mindfulness and self-reflection are powerful tools in this journey. Take time to meditate, journal, or simply sit in quiet contemplation. These practices can help you gain insight into your behavior and develop strategies to overcome procrastination. By exploring the roots of procrastination, we can begin to uproot this insidious habit. It's about more than just getting things done. It's about transforming our relationship with time and tasks. Develop a growth mindset where challenges are seen as opportunities for learning and growth rather than obstacles to be avoided. It's time to stop the cycle and start living. Embrace the journey of self-improvement and take control of your life. Remember, breaking free from procrastination is a process, not a one-time event. Be patient with yourself and celebrate each step forward. With determination and self-awareness, you can reclaim your time and live a more fulfilling, productive life. Think of self-improvement as a journey. It's not a destination you reach overnight, but a continuous path you walk on, filled with twists and turns, ups and downs. Imagine yourself on a winding road, each step you take bringing you closer to a better version of yourself. This journey is unique to each individual and it requires patience, dedication and a clear vision of where you want to go. It's about growth, learning and becoming the best versions of ourselves in workshops and seminars. We find like-minded individuals who share our passion for self-improvement. These gatherings are not just about gaining knowledge, but also about building a supportive community that encourages us to push our boundaries and strive for excellence. The energy in these rooms is palpable, filled with hope and determination. This journey requires courage, honesty, and a willingness to change. 
Standing strong against the wind symbolizes the resilience needed to face challenges head on. It's about being honest with ourselves, acknowledging our flaws and having the courage to make necessary changes. This honesty is not always easy, but it is essential for true growth. It means looking in the mirror and accepting both our strengths and weaknesses. One of the most powerful tools in our self-improvement arsenal is mindfulness. Mindfulness allows us to be present in the moment, to fully experience our thoughts and emotions without being overwhelmed by them. It helps us to stay grounded and focused, even in the midst of chaos. By practicing mindfulness, we can better understand our inner selves and make more informed decisions about our lives. Mindfulness encourages us to observe our thoughts and feelings without judgment. When we practice mindfulness, we learn to see our thoughts as they are, without labeling them as good or bad. This non-judgmental awareness helps us to break free from negative thought patterns and develop a more positive outlook on life. Journaling can be a powerful tool in this process, allowing us to reflect on our experiences and gain deeper insights into our minds. It's about acknowledging our procrastination tendencies without succumbing to self-criticism. We all procrastinate from time to time, but mindfulness teaches us to recognize these tendencies without beating ourselves up over them. Instead of criticizing ourselves, we can approach procrastination with curiosity and compassion, seeking to understand the underlying reasons for our behavior. This gentle approach fosters self-acceptance and paves the way for meaningful change. This gentle approach allows us to understand the root of our procrastination. By analyzing our thoughts and feelings, we can identify the fears and anxieties that hold us back. Understanding these root causes empowers us to address them directly rather than simply trying to force ourselves to be more productive. It's about creating a supportive environment for ourselves, where we can grow and thrive without the pressure of perfectionism. With understanding comes the power to change. Each new day offers a fresh start, a chance to take another step forward on our journey of self-improvement. The sunrise symbolizes new beginnings, reminding us that it's never too late to make positive changes in our lives. By embracing this mindset, we can approach each day with renewed energy and optimism, ready to tackle whatever challenges come our way. Eckhart Tolle, a renowned spiritual teacher, champions mindfulness. His teachings have inspired millions of people around the world to live more consciously and mindfully. Tolle's wisdom offers a profound understanding of the human condition, helping us to navigate the complexities of our minds and emotions. His seminars are a source of enlightenment, providing practical tools and insights for personal growth. He emphasizes the importance of living in the present moment. Tola teaches that the present moment is all we truly have, and by fully embracing it, we can find peace and fulfillment. This focus on the present helps us to let go of past regrets and future anxieties, allowing us to experience life more fully. Practicing mindfulness in nature can be particularly powerful as it connects us to the beauty and tranquility of the world around us. His teachings offer profound insights into the human condition. Through his books and talks, Tolly explores the nature of the mind and the ego, shedding light on the ways we create suffering for ourselves. By understanding these dynamics, we can begin to free ourselves from negative thought patterns and cultivate a more peaceful and joyful existence. Discussions on personal growth can further deepen our understanding and inspire us to take action. Tolle's wisdom can guide us as we navigate the choppy waters of procrastination. His insights provide a roadmap for overcoming the obstacles that stand in our way, helping us to stay focused and motivated on our journey of self-improvement. Whether we are facing a rocky path or a calm lake, Tolle's teachings remind us that we have the inner strength and wisdom to navigate any challenge. By embracing mindfulness and living in the present moment, we can transform our lives and achieve our fullest potential. Procrastination isn't just about missed deadlines. It's a pervasive issue that affects many aspects of our lives, often in ways we don't immediately recognize. When we put off tasks, we might think we're simply delaying the inevitable, but in reality, we're setting ourselves up for a cascade of negative consequences. It's a thief stealing our time, energy, and well-being. The empty calendar might seem like a relief at first, but it quickly fills up with the weight of uncompleted tasks. This overwhelming feeling can make even the simplest of tasks seem insurmountable. When we procrastinate, we accumulate a mental burden. This burden isn't just a fleeting feeling, it grows and festers, affecting our overall mental state. 
The weight of these uncompleted tasks can feel like carrying heavy objects on our shoulders, dragging us down. Tasks pile up and stress levels soar. A cluttered workspace is a visual representation of the chaos in our minds. Each unfinished task is a reminder of what we haven't accomplished, adding to our stress and anxiety. This constant state of stress takes a toll on our mental health. It's not just about feeling overwhelmed, it's about the long-term effects on our well-being. Chronic stress can lead to a host of mental health issues, including depression and anxiety. We may experience anxiety, a feeling that can be all-consuming. This anxiety isn't just about the tasks at hand, it's about the fear of failure, the fear of not being good enough, and the fear of letting others down. Feeling overwhelmed by the sheer volume of unfinished tasks can be paralyzing. It's like being stuck in quicksand. The more we struggle, the deeper we sink. This sense of being overwhelmed can make it difficult to even know where to start. Our sleep suffers as worries keep us awake at night. The quiet of the night can amplify our fears and anxieties, making it hard to find peace. Lack of sleep only exacerbates our stress, creating a vicious cycle. Procrastination can even lead to feelings of guilt and inadequacy. We might feel like we're letting ourselves and others down, which can erode our self-esteem and confidence. This guilt can be a heavy burden to carry. Our productivity plummets as we struggle to focus on anything other than the looming dread of unfinished tasks. This lack of focus can make it difficult to complete even the simplest of tasks, leading to a downward spiral in our productivity. Procrastination creates a vicious cycle. The more we procrastinate, the more stressed we become, and the more stressed we become, the more we procrastinate. It's a never-ending loop that can be incredibly difficult to break. We avoid tasks due to stress, and the avoidance only generates more stress. This avoidance can become a habit, making it even harder to break the cycle of procrastination. It's a cycle that's hard to break, but understanding it is the first step towards change. By recognizing the patterns of our behavior, we can begin to take steps to address them. But understanding it is the first step towards change. Journaling can be a powerful tool in this process. By writing down our thoughts and feelings, we can gain insight into our behavior and begin to develop strategies to overcome procrastination. It's about taking small, manageable steps towards a healthier, more productive life. Setting small, achievable goals can help us build momentum. Each small victory can boost our confidence and motivate us to keep going. It's about breaking down larger tasks into smaller, more manageable pieces. Practicing mindfulness can also be beneficial. By staying present in the moment, we can reduce our stress and anxiety, making it easier to focus on the task at hand. Mindfulness techniques, such as meditation or deep breathing exercises, can help us stay grounded and calm. Seeking support from others can make a big difference, whether it's talking to a friend, family member or therapist. Having someone to share our struggles with can provide us with the encouragement and perspective we need to move forward. Celebrating our small wins is important. Each step forward, no matter how small, is a victory. By acknowledging and celebrating our progress, we can build a positive momentum that helps us stay motivated and focused. Planning our day and organizing our tasks can help us stay on track. By creating a clear plan and setting priorities, we can reduce the feeling of being overwhelmed and make it easier to stay focused and productive. Taking regular breaks is also crucial. Giving ourselves time to rest and recharge can help us maintain our energy and focus throughout the day. It's about finding a balance between work and rest. Reflecting on our progress can help us stay motivated. By taking the time to look back on what we've accomplished, we can gain a sense of satisfaction and pride in our achievements. This reflection can also help us identify areas for improvement and set new goals for the future. Ultimately, overcoming procrastination is about empowering ourselves. It's about taking control of our time and our lives and making choices that support our well-being and productivity. By understanding the impact of procrastination on our mental health and taking steps to address it, we can create a healthier, more fulfilling life. Remember, change takes time and effort, but it's possible. With patience, persistence and the right strategies, we can break the cycle of procrastination and achieve our goals. It's about taking one step at a time and believing in our ability to succeed. So let's take that first step today. Let's commit to understanding our behavior, setting achievable goals and seeking support when needed. Together, we can overcome procrastination and create a brighter, more productive future.
In extreme cases, chronic procrastination can contribute to serious mental health issues like anxiety and depression. The constant pressure of unfinished tasks can trigger anxiety attacks. Feelings of hopelessness and worthlessness can spiral into depression. Procrastination can also damage our relationships. We may miss important social events or neglect our responsibilities to loved ones. This can lead to feelings of isolation and loneliness, further exacerbating mental health issues. It's crucial to remember that procrastination is a habit, not a character flaw. We can break free from its grip and reclaim our lives. By understanding the link between procrastination and mental health, we can seek help when needed and begin to make positive changes. Let's look at how these principles can be applied to modern living through the story of Sarah, a marketing professional who struggled with chronic procrastination. Sarah's struggles. Sarah often found herself putting off important projects until the last minute, which led to high stress levels and mediocre work. She felt stuck in a cycle of guilt and anxiety. By applying Eckhart Tolle's techniques mindfulness practice, Sarah started incorporating daily mindfulness practices, such as morning meditation and deep breathing exercises. These practices helped her stay focused on the present moment and reduce her mental clutter. Breaking down tasks. She began breaking down her tasks into smaller manageable parts and set specific achievable goals for each day. This made her workload feel less overwhelming and more doable. Awareness of thought. Sarah became more aware of her negative thought patterns and learned to observe them without judgment. She reminded herself that these thoughts were not reality but just passing mental states. The results. Within weeks, Sarah noticed a significant improvement in her productivity and mental well-being. She felt more in control of her work and her life and her performance at work improved drastically. Her relationships with colleagues and family members also benefited from her newfound calmness and reliability. In conclusion, if you're struggling with procrastination and want to learn more self-improvement strategies, be sure to check out some of our related videos on this channel. And if you have any personal experiences or tips for overcoming procrastination, please share them with us in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. Let's break free from procrastination and unlock our full potential together.